surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Silky. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc oh really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the jab. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, Superman punches true. Liver kick. Right hand upstairs. Big punch 
punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go. for that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. There. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. Seconds left. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Good stick. And he caught the kick. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Right hand upstairs. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Whips on the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Good punch. Flips the left hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Right hand on point. Big kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice right hand. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Straight punch lands. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Throws the right hand there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice straight punch. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, Superman punch! I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Thank you.
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Big kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, man, look at that. Victor, perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful take. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job by Lee. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling. His opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. high, and now he's got hurt bad. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Able to check the high kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, how good is his right hook counter? His leg kick. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big kick lands. Establish that jab. Oh! Big elbow there, Lance. Throwing hard in the pocket. Oh, spinning back fist! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah? Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, 
just misses with the straight left hand. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Ooh, what a punch. another punch there and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent right at the cut on the eye just making sure he knows that i'm going to be targeting it keep your hands up and when the hands go up he will then change the target down low trying to find finishes effective punch there by Lou. look at the torso on the right side major bruising and it's only getting worse Misses with that big right hand. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Big leg kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Found the target with that left hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Watch knees to the body. Well, no surprise, the fighter with a longer reach is able to land that patented jab yet again. Just missed with the left there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big body kick. Oh, nice. Just misses there with the left. Nice kick. Right hand upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Let's go. Keep Huge block there. Oh, man, head kick land. Outstanding job finding a place for that knee. Beautiful kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Final minute. Big leg kick land. Nice 
big. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. 20 seconds left. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're gonna certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already gonna be called in here. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Connects with a right. He's got the turtle in that kick. And he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Punch is blocked. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Big kick land. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Beautiful body kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence, and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Quick leg kick. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Beautiful spinning attack there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Liver kick. Really nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big punch land. Ooh. How about that shin? Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big 
shot lands. Leg kick checked by Lee. Big kick. While the great Edson Barboza would be proud, another combination of leg kicks and paging the Iceman, paging the Motrin Man, those are gonna hurt tomorrow. There's just no tell. You never know when it's coming. That leg is so fast off the ground and get to the target. And they separate. Right under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Final 10 seconds of the fight. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. The final horn sounds. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating control all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start